Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly forecast for June 10th through the 16th. We've got a little bit of a different setup this week. We've got a little summery beachy theme here. We're coming into the summer season. We're working with our little mermaid cards. We're going to see what's coming up for the week ahead for Taurus. All right, my darlings, Taurus sun, moon, and rising. Uh... Got a lot of feedback last week on that blessing card, that prayer card at the end. A lot of you really liked it, so we're going to go ahead and do that again this week at the end. There's your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're going to do another blessing prayer for you at the end. All right, Taurus, so you're starting your week off with the mirror. Okay, know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. So this, to me, is a card that's having to do with seeing your own inner strengths, your own inner beauty. I do feel some of you are breaking out of, and Taurus, I think this came up for you last week, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong if, if it wasn't last week, maybe a couple of weeks before, but it seems to be like a reoccurring theme for you, <clears throat> if I'm not mixing up my signs. But some of you are breaking out of like this negative voice in your head that, is really been labeling you or limiting you so for some of you maybe it's a voice from your childhood maybe you grew up around like parents or adults who criticized you very harshly or really reprimanded you very harshly and so you maybe grew up feeling bad about yourself or it could just be other ways in which you have been limiting yourself and how you view yourself or it could be that you've been around negative people maybe siblings maybe a romantic partner maybe in some cases a boss or somebody that really has a way of ripping into you and making you feel like you're incompetent or that you don't know what you're doing or that you're this terrible person or you're selfish or you're this or you're that there could be a lot of heavy kind of labels that you've been carrying but I feel, Taurus, that spirit is reaching out to you. Your angels and guides are reaching out to you. And they're wanting to give you a glimpse so that you're able to see yourself the way that God sees you, the way that heaven sees you, the way that the spirit realm sees you, so that you can begin releasing these labels. Because what happens is when we tell ourselves that we're a certain way or when people label us a certain way, then we might create the self-fulfilling prophecy where we will do things that kind of feed into that or we'll make those mistakes or we'll make those um you know uh accidents or things like that and so you're breaking out of this and you're really able to see yourself for your full potential uh the true person of the heart the secret person of the heart uh seeing your gifts your talents your abilities some of you are realizing that you have certain interests that you maybe weren't even paying attention to because you were so busy living under somebody else's label or conditioning and you're breaking out of it Taurus you're breaking out of that labeling you're breaking out of that conditioning and you're really able to understand who you really are uh what makes you happy um you know that you're not some terrible screw up uh that you are a good person that you have talents and gifts and and something to offer to the world so there's a very happy opening of the eyes happening here for you Taurus there's a very happy happy discovery of yourself in the beginning part of the week midweek Wednesday Thursday you all have Lumeria returns this has kind of been this and a couple of other cards have kind of been a stalker card in the weekly readings so i think there's a lot happening in the planetary energies it's not surprising as we are in this new moon energy and a lot of you are feeling it very strongly you are birthing something okay this week my darlings um it might not be being born this week but you're conceiving it it is growing it is incubating and so you're about to create something very new in your life or creating a whole new life for yourself as a whole some of you are taking on a project or an interest that's going to be giving you a creative outlet that's going to be bringing in a lot of healing and you're feeling protected and shielded in this way it's giving you a bit of an escape so for some of you it could be as simple as tinkering around with hobbies or interests or getting back into old interests or things you haven't done in a long time 
It could be even like, you know, building little toy models, getting into uh, uh, certain games or, or writing or journaling or painting or music or whatever it might be. Some of you are creating on that way, on that end, and that is giving you a chance to kind of escape and disconnect. Other ones of you are just kind of creating a new version of yourself because your eyes are finally open and you're finally starting to see that, hey, I'm not all these terrible things that people keep telling me I am or I'm not all these terrible things that I've been believing that I am and so you're kind of reinventing yourself now I want you to keep in mind you know is it very much like a pregnancy you know it takes time for this to be born it's not going to be an overnight process so I feel that in the next few weeks in the next few stages as we're moving up towards the full moon there's going to be more things that are coming in more revelations more realizations and you're just creating this new sense of self this this new plan for yourself that's going to be born maybe not this week but it's coming together this week your friday saturday and sunday taurus is yameha grandmother ocean primordial all right, so again, a nurturing of a nurturing. Now, this is we've got like two kind of pregnancy and baby cards here. So maybe some of you are having something coming up where you are discovering you're pregnant or you're preparing to start a family or there's talks of starting a family. Maybe some of you are a new parent and so you're going to be spending time in that parental energy or a new grandparent and you're going to get to spend time in your grandparent energy. I am hearing something very specific and this is not going to be for all of you but I do feel there might be some of you who are watching who are grandparents where there's been some tension between you and your child and so maybe that's been interfering with you being able to be around your grandchild but something is happening in terms of some kind of healing where you all are able to kind of come together and start forming a bridge forming an understanding a coming together and being able to come into a situation where you're able to be in a situation where you can begin establishing a relationship uh, not only with your child but also with your grandchild so there is some kind of healing that's coming in in that way um, for those of you that are having that happen please be patient with yourself be patient with your child be patient with your grandchild because I do feel that as you're connecting and spending time with your grandchild there's a lot of things that you're going to start beating yourself up about or blaming yourself about and spirit is saying don't do that you're being given a clean slate here you're being given another chance here focus on the love in the moment focus on the now leave the past in the past and just be the best person that you are in this moment be the best grandparent that you can be be the best parent that you can be now and leave the past in the past and allow yourself to enjoy this love that's coming in Okay, um, for other ones of you, this is going to be a nurturing of self and uh, kind of protecting and guarding and shielding this new you that's being born. You know, some of you might have people that are pushing back and saying, Taurus, what are you doing? That's not you. And you're very protective of this new you. And you're saying, nope, we're not going to listen to that voice. We're not going to hear that, you know, and, and you're just kind of being that protective person for this new little baby you that's being born in a spiritual way or an energetic way or a spiritual self. Uh, you're creating a whole new life, Taurus a whole new life and I'm excited because again this is kind of an ongoing theme for you guys you guys have been struggling with just trying to get out of uh, get out from an old way of being and uh, getting under some very controlling energy or a very stuck pattern and so a lot of you are coming into this time of forgiveness being forgiven or forgiving yourself or just breaking free of labels and getting to invent a whole new you getting to be the person that you decide you are not the person you've been told that you are we're gonna see what your blessing and prayer for the week is and guys be sure to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos as well because some weeks those may resonate with you more some weeks those may bring you uh some more information or more guidance um and they can be helpful if you want to save the video and come back to it and uh listen to the prayer every night before bed or in the morning as you're starting the day or both um if that's going to be helpful for you feel free to do that as well all right and here's your prayer card a blessing for unity 
where once there was division. So that, you know, I, I just said some of you are having some kind of peaceful resolution happening, especially those of you who maybe are in that grandparent energy. But even if you're not in grandparent energy, you may have had a situation with family where there was some negativity or um, some judgment. And as you're forgiving yourself and loving yourself and creating this new you, there's also a healing that is happening in some division or a relationship. So the blessing for you, Taurus... A blessing to help accept the differences between you so that they inspire conversation and exploration, interests and discovery rather than separation and rejection. May the division between you be left behind as you both begin to build a bridge of light formed from the willingness within your hearts to find your way back to a common vision. May the differences be worked through with the highest good of all concerned, the foremost goal. May the differences that remain be ones that bring spice and change and agility to your ways and thinking. And may the bridge that is built between you, all the strong and sturdy, lasting through the ages, may the newfound unity recognize that there is not sameness but a oneness of vision and the weaving together of dissimilar threads to create a glorious picture of paradox and complementary opposites let the antagonism and focused upon rejection give way to a humility a willingness to listen and may those who are unquiet and bellicose in their rumblings and threats be stilled by the knowledge that all will gain when peace is found. May the love that can be born between people find its way through the fear. May the sense that when together more can be achieved than when stubbornly apart melt away the fences and walls that hold us from each other. Let us live and let live give and take share and receive and come to an understanding and let none of us involved in the springing together of separate parties set alight that bridge instead let us quietly surely and with intentions matching actions build the way to reach each other once again united so much can be done we can raise each other up and as you do each of you who brings your heart to this task of healing will stand firm upon the solid ground you are now building. Unity is yours, friend. Blessed be Taurus.